been two weeks since I've made a video on tech. That's about to change. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new tech video and this is one I haven't done in a long time. Now I've never done one of these type of videos, it's always been a what on my iPhone. This is a what on my iPad. As you know, this is the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It's obviously last year's version, it's not this year's version, but let's get into it anyway. And I'm going to show you what on my iPad Pro. But this one right now is actually running iOS 11 as you can see. It went from the public beta and then we got the gold master but I'm hoping this is still going to carry on getting the new bases as they arrive. And yes I've got the screen record right there but I don't think I'm going to use it right now because I'm having some trouble with the Macbook right now and recording. So if we jump back on the screen I hope you can see this. If you can't then I may look at doing the screen recording and doing it that way it depends what the edit comes out like so as you can see on the home screen itself it's just a very simple layout i've got the dock on the bottom which i'll talk about first the dock i haven't put a lot of things in there just a few things that i'm I, that i may go to i'll start from this end right here you've got the gmail app this is what holds all my accounts from paul rankin from the youtube channel from the orlando Torres stuff to me detailed image photography stuff that holds all of them in the one got the mail app which holds all my hotmail accounts i've got a few of those for other obviously other various things that are going on i use safari i don't tend to use chrome so i'm not a big fan of it the twitter app for ipad as i tend to use that quite a lot the files app which i'm using more and more nowadays vlc player I watch all my TV shows and movies etc through VLC and the App Store which I've just used which is why it goes on the very end with the line right there. If I keep my finger on that, it'll highlight and I just click the minus button and it goes away. Now up the top here is just a very simple layout. I haven't chosen a background picture yet but I probably will do that very soon. FaceTime at the top. The messages app, I don't really use it because I just tend to use my iPhone. Uh, it is linked up to my MacBook as well, which I'll just use my MacBook because it's just one of those things. I haven't bothered setting it up. Messenger, which is WhatsApp Messenger. I have been using that lately. and uh, It's good. It puts all the files there that I need, etc. It's just good for what I need it for. Google Calendar and normal calendar. I tend to go for Google Calendar over the standard calendar as it groups everything together for me all nice and neatly and puts everything in line so that I know what's going on and what meetings etc I've got coming up got Google Maps and Maps I have used these in the car I've just linked it up to my phone and let the iPad do its thing I've got a dashboard mount on its way I'm going to look at what it looks like in the car and you guys are going to get to see that as well Photos, I do, I do use this, this is where I keep some of my photos, I haven't transferred everything and we'll go more into detail about these two photos at the top a bit later on. Click off that. Home page, it's just basically an, a folder that I've created which has just got apps that I don't tend to use. I do use podcasts and I tend to use this to watch podcasts. So this is one that obviously when you get stuff like Apple Byte. Uh, the awesome Orlando stuff goes to watchable podcasts and I use my iPhone for listening podcasts. The Apple Store, because you're not as you know you can buy stuff from the Apple Store and I've used the iPad in the past to do that. App Store and of course settings. If you go across to my next screen this is where I keep everything. These are recently downloads and I haven't used them as of yet. I have used that one but don't tell the wife. <laughs> okay, don't tell her. Don't, don't, don't say nothing. But up the top here, I've got a business folder which keeps WordPress, Speed Test, Evernote. Is I have been using Evernote quite a fair bit lately to do various different tasks that I want to get completed. Like when I want to record a video, I will use Evernote to jot down some notes. 
but I do prefer Apple Notes because it transfers to my phone as well and I can keep track of everything. On stream webinar, I've used a, used that a few times for Orlando stuff when I've been involved in some meetings, etc. We use on stream. L Link Diane, as you know, I've used that plenty of times in the past. This is running the Paul Rankin one right now because, as you know, I've changed phones again. Next to that is teleprompter. So, whenever I want to do a scripted video, I'll use teleprompter and attach it underneath the camera here and have it linked up so you guys won't know it's there but I'll be reading off a teleprompter I haven't used it yet but I will do a scripted video soon and it will be using teleprompter Crowdfire for checking on stats etc and being able to publish different posts now and again the Crowdfire allows me to do that Flickr, I have got a Flickr account on Orlando Tourist and Paul Rankin as I tend to use that quite a fair bit just to put posts on there so that it saves them in the proper file format that I need and in the, res the resolution that I need as well. I, I do use Dropbox as well but I prefer Flickr for that. Genius Scan to scan documents even though I don't need that now because it's now built into the notes on iOS 11 but it's still there anyway. Bitly to shorten links as you know. Google Keep again is just another messing like a a note taking service but it's from Google so it syncs to all your other devices that are running Google as well Google Drive I use that for my email address to store photos etc and PDFs as you can see um, if we click on see, it stored all my Lamborghini photos that I've sent over to HR Owen that I've taken a Cars and Coffee they wanted them I've sent them over got me name in the bottom corner down there as you can see you can't really see that but just photos that I've taken from the car shows that they wanted but that's what that's for and that just sends them over to them and then they can download them straight from the Google Drive scan scan bot again is another scan and document service even though I don't need that now because the notes has, has got it included don't need to see that one as it's just takeaway places that you can order from games I haven't been gaming a lot, but I have been using RCT a lot lately, which is Roller Coaster Tycoon Touch, I believe. I have used it in the past, but I've stopped using it, but I will go back to it. Top FM, Football Manager, and Word Cookies. All the family were using Word Cookies, and I decided to have a go. Got a bit addicted, and I haven't used it for a while, so that's a good thing. Lifestyle, I just tend to keep a few things in here. eBay, Amazon, TV Catch-Up, Encode. Ikea store, Zedge for wallpapers, the Disney World app and Netflix, Disney World controls, me magic band etc. Okay so moving along now to photography, I'll talk about the bottom one first, Canon Camera Connect, connects the ATD to this so I can see live photos and I can obviously put them on the iPad and download them to use for Lightroom on here. Cinemagraph, I do want to try and do a couple of cinemagraphs in a few months or so, well, a few weeks or so. Google Photos, Photoshop Mix, as I do, I haven't really used an awful lot of Photoshop but I do want to try and use it, I want to manipulate a couple of photos. And Lightroom, Lightroom is my go-to app on the phone, on the MacBook and on the iPad. Now let me show you something that I wanted to show you before in the photos. So this is an edited photo that I took from a car show not so long ago. As you can see, the detail is unbelievable. This is what the 24 to 70 mil lens does, exactly what I said to you in the past. The lens is absolutely superb, and I love it to bit. But then I decided, to, obviously when I was doing this video, I decided to manipulate this photo a little bit further to see what I could make using, obviously I've used Lightroom to edit this photo on the MacBook and then transfer it to the iPad. And then I decided to use the iPad to see what I could do. As you can see, a little bit of a vignette on the corners, just to darken it out. A little bit of a sharpen on the wheel, just to make it pop a little bit more, so you can see the Audi sign behind it. And obviously, you can see obviously like the the discs look a bit worn as well now, and the sky is a little bit bluer. As you can see, it's not as blown out there. It's nice and blue on the top. So that's exactly what the Lightroom app can do. And also as well, if you look at the headlight, the headlight's got that nice rainbow effect going onto it now. I know it doesn't look like much on the screen here that you're seeing because it's coming from this screen through the lens. But if I put this photo on the screen now, 
so you can see for yourself that's what it, it it looks superb it really does all the details that are picked up in this photo are unreal and that's what the 24 to 70 can do along with lightroom and then another manipulation through lightroom again on the mobile version that's why i love it so much i really do i haven't done this one just yet or this one or this one that one was a while ago as you know <laughs> that one was a while ago that was in universal and that's the one i showed you through the google drive before as you can see that's my logo on the bottom down there but if we come back out of this and go back across now so sports moving along got nfl fantasy yes i have got a fantasy team i do like nfl and i think nfl basketball would say hockey but i don't watch it all that much but i am going to a basketball game in orlando in january but i do want to get to an nfl game as well i do really like nfl but i've got nfl fantasy and NFL Mobile to keep up to date. And then we've got the YouTube folder, which is YouTube Studio. I tend to use this one for the Orlando Taurus stats, sub count for the same on Social Blade, so I can take a look at all the standings on different me different channels. The feedback app, which is standard when you download the new iOS, you tend to get this so you can leave them feedback. And these are some of the apps that obviously I haven't really tested out, but I want to get into. I have used them, but so I've used some of them, but Night Sky is now a new way of using the AR that's built in now. I do want to use AR, but what I'll do is I'll bring that to you in a separate video. So you'll see AR, me using AR, coming soon with Night Sky. I've got another Wattpad, which is WhatsApp Messenger. I want to try that one, see whether it's better than the other one, and just see where I get along with it. I'm hoping Wattpad is probably the same as WhatsApp, so I can just transfer them over. Microsoft Word, as I do tend to use a couple of Word documents here and there, as well as obviously scanning documents and like filling documents in, I do tend to use Word a lot. Google Earth, we were looking the other night at obviously everything that's going on in Mexico and everything that was going on in Orlando and stuff like that, and we wanted to just do a scan round of the Earth to see exactly where everything was. Just curiosity basically, so I downloaded Google Earth. So we could take a look around and see what was where. The Xbox app, you all know what that is anyway, don't need to go into that. Soundclouds, when I'm looking for artists to appear in videos, the daily vlogs especially. As I said, auto trader is right there, but please do not tell the wife. That's not there, ignore it. I haven't been looking at cars, I promise you. Discord is a game and chat which I haven't really used that much, but I am going to get into a little bit more, as it is quite interesting when you're reading through a few things when you're bored, basically. And of course, Periscope. I do use Periscope quite a lot. I use it while I'm away in Orlando. I use it when I've got new tech stuff to show off. So if you want to follow me, head over to Twitter, follow me at Rankins, and follow me at Orlando Taurus one You can find those links in the description down below. If you want to head over, follow me on Twitter, and that way you know when I post another, well, when I'm posting on Periscope at least. I watch all my favourite tech YouTubers on this, and I watch people from Orlando as well. So be sure to follow me over there, guys. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This was a nice step back into the tech videos. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Give this video a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Take it easy. And I'll see you all in the next tech video. Take it easy.